Welcome to the sports segment of the IKTV News Update. I am Jeroni Richardson. While the Caribbean Premier League, the CPL, continued to bring increased revenue over the Caribbean territories hosting matches, there were reduced earnings in Trinidad and Tobago in 2016. According to a CPL media release, visitor in spending was US $2,616,625 down by 25% from 2015 when the Queen's Park Oval hosted the finals of Hero CPL. According to the Trinidad Express, the CPL further stated that, quote, total media revenue value was down by 46% to US $2,970,740. While Trinidad and Tobago had been one of the territories initially bidding to host the finals of this year's CPL, St. Kitts and Nevis were eventually awarded the matches. The release further added that 512 local jobs were created and 3,297 hotel rooms filled when Trinidad and Tobago hosted the finals. Also, according to the CPL's Economic Impact Assessment EIA survey, there was a combined television audience of 10.5 million for the, Trin for the Trinbago Night Riders matches where while 45,072 fans attended the games and the Queen's Park Oval. Overall, however, the CPL in 2016 brought a straight third increase in revenues to the region. And in other news, still in Trinidad and Tobago, while traveled Belgian Tom St. Fit was Wednesday, December 8th, appointed head coach of the Trinidad and Tobago national side, but could face the sack after just two games in charge if he does not keep the Twin Island Republic in contention for the World Cup Finals. The 43-year-old was announced by the Trinidad and Tobago Football Association, TTFA, as the replacement for Stephen Hart, who was fired last month after the country's poor start in the CONCACAF World Cup qualifying final round. St. Fert, who has already coached in multiple countries, will be in charge of the national side for two upcoming World Cup qualifiers against Panama and Mexico next March. And TTFA President David John Williams says that he would be held to a very high standard for those two encounters. And in other sports news, South American's soccer's governing body, CONMEBOL, awarded the 2016 Copa Sub-American Champions to Brazil's Chapico Essence Club yesterday, after most of the team died in a plane crash in Colombia last week. Only six people survived the plane crash en route to the final, when, which sorry, killed 71 passengers and crew shocked football fans worldwide and plunged Brazil into mourning. We'll take a short ad break and when we come back your regional news. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. <laughs> 